I cannot describe the elation that I felt when I got that email telling me that I was admitted to MIT. Uh, and even now, I feel like there might have been a mistake. <laughs> If there's a dream that you want to achieve, it's within your ability to grasp. You know, you just have to prepare yourself. You have to set yourself up, you know, in the ways that you need to achieve that goal. I grew up on a rural farm in Missouri. I was homeschooled, and I lived in a really insulated community that didn't allow children to be educated past eighth grade. College was never really in the books for my parents, but it was always in the books for me. I knew since I was a small child that higher education was something that I wanted to pursue. By the time that I was ready to go to college, I was a resident of the state of Utah, which meant that going home for college wouldn't have been realistic because I would have had to pay out-of-state tuition. And um, UVU's tuition was very affordable. UVU has an open enrollment policy, so everyone is welcome. I don't know now that I could articulate how important the absence of that barrier was for me to pursue higher education. I didn't even know about financial aid. I had no idea that was even a thing when I was applying, when I was getting ready to start college. Being a first generation student, you're not prepared for a lot of the difficulties that come along with college life. I spent two years as a full-time student being unhoused. So I faced housing insecurity and even after that time until more recently have um, faced food insecurity. And uh, it was really hard for me to figure out how to adjust to this type of a lifestyle and um, to adjust to what, for me at the time, felt like moving to the big city. <laughs> the Provo Orem area is the largest place I've ever, I've ever lived. Ultimately, UVU provided the support and the help that I needed to get out of that situation. Here at the Center for Social Impact, people are obviously very passionate about social issues, and we're housed right next to the Care Hub. And there's a food pantry, there are food vouchers, there are resources to help students with housing you know, throughout campus, um, and I really benefited from those. So I graduated with my first two degrees in 2018. I have a Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy and a Bachelor of Science in Integrated Studies where I selected Earth Science and Peace and Justice Studies as my emphases. After I graduated, I knew that I wanted to go to grad school, but going to grad school in philosophy didn't feel right. And I didn't know that I wanted to go to grad school for Earth Science. A lot of the jobs that one gets you know, at the end of those degrees weren't appealing to me. I found that all of the time that I spent being happy, I was outside identifying insects and fungi and plants and, you know, learning about ecology and how ecosystems work, you know, with human systems. And, and those things really brought me joy and excitement and passion. And I realized, hey, maybe I should go back to school for biology. My mentor gave me this fortuitous hint that, hey, if you want to work in the natural sciences, you need to have computational skills. And so I began to learn how to code, and lo and behold, right after that, UVU released the bioinformatics major, and that first semester I switched. And I've never regretted that decision. I absolutely love bioinformatics. I'm in the right field. I'm doing things that I could do for the rest of my life. When I was applying to graduate schools, I decided, hey, you know, it's probably a really long shot, um, but I'm already doing all this work for applications, so how about I just make, you know, an application for MIT, I'll submit it. The worst they can say is no. I cannot describe the elation that I felt when I got that email telling me that I was admitted to MIT. Uh, and even now, I feel like there might have been a mistake. <laughs> Things work out sometimes in odd ways. I can't really explain it. I just know that there was a, a point in time where like, I knew that MIT was not an option for me. And then there was a shift. And it became an option, and it was the right option. UVU is a place for you to grow, to achieve, to push the boundaries of what even you thought possible. If you're willing to look around and to do a little bit of extra work and to be engaged even when you feel tired, those opportunities are going to present themselves to you.